Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your mid-month for November. Uh, your love, your career and finance, and your health and wellness horoscope. Okay, so guys, hope you have a great morning or evening wherever you are. And I want to thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I want to thank you to all of my members. And if you'd like to become a member, just click the join button below. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or you'd like a personal read with me, all of my information is in the description box below. All right. So remember, these are general messages. They're not going to resonate with everyone. So you can check your moon, your rising, or your sun sign for more information. So your sun sign represents your soul. Your moon sign represents your emotions and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are. So feel free to cross watch for more information. So as you guys know, I'm going to, I've been doing this in a different way than what I normally have done in the past. So if you like it this way, you feel like it's easy to understand, uh, please hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below or you can do both if you like so I can continue to do it this way. All right, so let's move into this. All right, so what's going on with my Gemini's romantic love life for mid-November, from now until the end of November? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on with my Gemini's romantic love life from now until the end of November? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on with my Gemini's romantic love life from now until the end of November. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. All right, so this is going to be your current situation and what's going on with your romantic love life. This is going to be what are your lessons, what are your blockages, what are your challenges. This is going to be what you should be focusing in on right now in your romantic love life. This is going to be what's going to happen in the near future. This is going to be what is influencing all this? What is causing all this? This is for your love interest now. This doesn't have to be somebody that you're with. This should just be somebody that you turn on this video for. And I use this one a lot in personal readings. What you need to know that you don't know that would help you with your romantic love life. And we're also going to do an outcome here. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty extensive spread. And also we're moving on to your career and finance after this and your health and wellness. So stick with me to the end. Let's jump right in. Okay, so it looks like in the current situation, we have the page of pentacles energy. So it looks to me like you guys have this new path and something that you um, is very serious about with the Page of Pentacles energy. There is a sense that there's going to have to be a sense of open mindedness about it with the flexibility card. And it does look like this situation is, is making you really happy here with the Sun card energy or some things are being revealed here with the Sun card energy. The Sun is a victory card. So it's a sense of a victory here because of uh, this new path here. Uh, but it does have a sense that there is some sense of flexibility that's going to be have to be made here um, when it comes to this potential okay all right so it looks like what the uh, blockage delay or the lesson is here is the fact that there is uh, a sense that something some truths are gonna have to come out about the situation and um, there's gonna have to be an understanding that you guys are gonna have to go the distance, right? There is gonna be a sense of some challenges here uh, when it comes to the situation when your romantic love life and uh, talking and speaking really needs to to be the focal point here because part of the blockage delay and challenges some truths need to come out here some sense of talking and speaking here needs to happen okay and the sense that yes is, is there's some challenges still to overcome here all right that's part of your your lesson or your blockage for this uh, next uh, you know coming up to the the end of November here so we see that there is a sense of happiness and some sense of talking and speaking. Um, so let's see what you should be focused in on right now. So you're at a crossroads and you're going to have to make a choice, right? There's some indecisions here that you need to focus in on. And uh, yeah, for you guys, you're going to have to reveal a truth here. Okay. You're going to have to, you know, be open about how you're feeling here when it comes to the situation. And um, we see that something needs to end, stop, or complete. And I feel like the completion needs to be this sense of this crossroads that you're at. This choice needs to be made here and things need to be revealed and need to be talked about. The mask needs to come off here. Okay. 
So what's going to happen in this near future here? So there is a sense that your hands are tied in this situation or this person feels like their hands are tied and there's nothing they can do about it with the Eight of Swords energy. And um, there is a focus on happiness here though with the happy, happy card. So, and there is hope here with the star card energy. So it looks like um, there is a focus on happiness here, all right? There is this potential here and there's hope here or there's a wish and hope to be happy here. But this person is like, my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do about it kind of energy, right? It's like they're, they're having the sense that their back's against the wall and there's nothing they can do about it here. We see that the sun card is saying, okay, there's a sense of happiness. There's something to do with talking and speaking. Something needs to end, stop, or complete here. Uh, there needs to be a sense of putting the worker effort into the situation. So what's influencing this? Hmm. There's a person that has a sense that something is being left out in the cold or someone's feeling like they're left out in the cold or they have a sense of loss. And obviously with the Six of Swords kind of energy is telling me that there are some challenges here, right? And moving into calmer waters so there is a sense of all right i'm being left out of the cold or i'm having a sense of loss here and there's still some challenges to overcome here because um this person is trying to find the right solution here they have a sense that there's repeating patterns things are going around circles here and it's like all right look we need we need to come to a solution here to this issue so there's a sense of hope coming up even though this this sense of somebody has their hands tied the influence being they feel like you know what i'm going around circles here i want a solution i'm trying to be happy here uh and we need to communicate things need to be communicated here if we look at the current situation it's saying you know things need to be revealed they need to be talked about and um there needs to be you need to move past this indecisions this the sense of a crossroads here so and if we look here there's a couple of seven card energies a lot of analyzing thinking constantly needs to go into this so this is going to be for your love interest uh, this is the person that you turn on this video for it doesn't have to be somebody that you're with we have the hermit card energy so this person is like all right i'm doing some deep heavy soul searching about this connection i feel like you're really valuable to me gemini and I really want to heal things with you with the tree card energy. I really want to heal things. I feel like there's a sense of something of, of true value here, right? You're like a treasure to me. And I've been doing a lot of deep, heavy soul searching about you. I, I feel like there's something, a deeper connection here than you realize. All right, let's see what you need to know that you don't know, Gemini, that would help you with your situation. So Gemini, what you need to know that you don't know is that there is a sense of this passion and this chemistry here with this King of Wands energy. And this is going to uh, bring things, um, you know, structure things and organize things in a certain way with the building blocks. It's gonna lay down the foundation. This passion, this chemistry is gonna lay down the foundation with this particular person. So there's a sense of all this passion and chemistry. King of Wands energy is like, there's a sense of, you know what, I'm making a wise decision when it comes to my passions. And this is really the foundation of the, of the, the, the situation when it comes to this person. Uh, two plus nine is 10, 11. There's a sense of a choice. And two plus eight is nine, 10. Something that needs to be completed here. And it needs to be wise here in the decision making. Okay. Okay, so I feel like there's this person, they want healing, they want to make sure they're going in the right direction, that they can find a solution, they have a sense of hope even though their hands are tied, they, they want to focus on happiness, they, that there's a truce and talking, speaking, communication that needs to happen here. That's part of your lesson, communication here. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen here. We have the Seven of Pentacles energy. So. This person really wants to invest time with you, Gemini. They really want to see how this grows here. They want to fight for this. They want to defend their position, Seven of Wands energy. So they want to invest the time. They want to see how this grows and they want to fight for this, Seven of Wands energy. Um, they're being very political with you with the King of Wands, excuse me, the King of Swords energy, right? They're, very, they're using your logic here with the king of swords energy to be wise in your decision making so they're trying to be very political here to take a leadership role they are taking a leadership role here because they really want to fight for this they want to defend their position they feel like they have the higher ground of win this against other people maybe there's other people also that are infringing upon this and they're just like all right you know what i'm going to be patient here i'm just going to see how things are going to play out here because i really want to fight for this i want to i want i want this to grow into something here with seven of pentacles energy and i'm willing to invest the time into this
for this to happen here. So I'll be very political and I'll make wise decisions here and, and I'll be cognizant of my thoughts and what I what I say here with the King of Swords energy. Sevens, we have two seven card energy. There's a lot of analyzing, thinking, contemplating going on here. Wow, okay. Geminis, if you like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Let's now move on to your career and finance. So, so far so good. All right, so let me move this out of the way. All right, what's going on my Gemini's career and finance for now until the end of November? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Gemini's career and finance from now until the end of November. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so I'm going to be pulling six cards, and the seventh card will be for your advice. Okay, let's see here. So it looks like you guys are gaining clarity, okay? There's a mental, mental victory here. You're getting the answers that you need with the Ace of Swords energy. Eight of Wands shows me that there's communication. Now the Eight of Wands, when it comes to Tarot, this can be through text message, Facebook message. This could be, uh, you know, talking, speaking. It could be a phone call, okay? But there's communication happening, which is giving you clarity. And we see that the death card tells me that something is ending to start anew. So you're gaining the answers that you need and something is moving fast. Uh, there's uh, some sense of communication of something to do with an ending to start anew. Some kind of transformation is happening. The judgment card shows me that uh, there's going to be, uh, for some of you, you're dealing with something legal. A judgment is going to rule in your favor. You're going to gain the answers that you need. You're going to get the clarity that you need. You're going to have a sense of victory, okay? For others of you, it's the judgment is saying things will rule in your favor. There'll be a sense of healing and recovery here. For some of you, because we see the judgment, we see that the, the um, lover's card is there. There's something to do with a partnership here, okay? So some of you are dealing with a partnership and things are going to rule in your favor, okay? For others of you, there's things that are gonna rule in your favor because you're gonna make choices that you really love here. And Four of Pentacles tells me that you're gonna hold on to the situation. You're gonna hold on to the situation. This is also the card of savings or holding on to something. You're holding on for success here, Four of Pentacles energy. So you're gaining the answers that you need. Okay, Ace of Swords energy. There's something that's moving faster. There's some sense of communication about something to do with a transformation or an ending to start anew. You're starting anew here. Something is transforming, you're starting anew. Something's ending, stopping, or completing here. Things are ruling in your favor. You're making choices or you're dealing with a partnership here and you're holding on to the situation for Pentacles energy. So we see there's an opportunity here to put the work or effort into something uh, that you have to stop or complete or end. Uh, there's a sense of healing. Uh, because of a choice, four is about stability and stabilis. You're making a choice about your stability and stabilis and organizing things in a certain way. We see that the lover's card is here because of the fact that they're gaining clarity about something that's ending to start anew or some changes that are going to happen here, some transformational changes that are going to happen here. We see the Eight of Wands is here, this communication, this sense of moving fast is because things are ruling in your favor, which is helping you hold on to the situation, okay? So let's see what your advice is here. Okay, so the moon card is saying, pay attention to your dreams, moon card energy. Okay, use your intuition, moon card energy. Or it could be saying, uh, gain that clarity first. First is time to get the answers that you need with the moon card energy. Let's pull one more card here because there's a new path that you're gonna love here. There's a new path coming up here. So there's some answers yet to be known here with the moon card energy, some things that are still going to be revealed, but there will be a new path here for you with the page of cups energy, because obviously we see the death card energy, right? The death card is saying something is going to end and you're going to start anew, but you will have a new path that you're going to love here with the page of cups energy. You'll hold on to a situation for now, but coming up after you gain the answers that you need, there's going to be this new path coming up for you with the page of cups energy. Okay. Okay, let's move on to your health and wellness here. 
All right, can I have some advice for my Gemini's health and wellness for mid-November, please, from now until no the end of November? Show me the cards you can see. Oh, okay, obviously, Spirit, you want the black card, okay. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so you guys got two cards. All right, so it's about acceptance. Acceptance that things are gonna be okay, all right? And that you have natural healing abilities here, okay? So Gemini, it's a sense of accepting that things are gonna go in the right direction and just knowing that you have natural healing abilities. And they're saying everything is going to go in the right direction. All right, my Geminis, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please hit that thumbs up or let me know in the comments below if you like the new way that I'm doing it so I can continue to do it this way. Guys, I love you so much. I thank you all to all my members. If you'd like a personal read with me, all my information is in the description box below. I'll see you guys in another date or two. I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon.